Hello everyone. Good evening. Let me come up with a new business case that how multi step subcontracting works and how we can achieve with the UDU standard. Let's check what the scenario is that. As a company we are dealing with the duffel bags. But for that duffel bags the printing is required. But as a company we are not manufacturing, we are not printing that duffel bags. More complex scene is that we are purchasing from any of the vendor and that vendor will drop ship that duffel bag to other vendors for the printing. Here two printing is required for the front side DTG printing and for the back side we require the embroidery to that DTG bag. So here the scenarios are three DTG bag for DTG printing DTG subcontractor and for embroidery, embroidery subcontractor. Here we are purchasing duffel bag from vendor A. Now vendor A will drop ship that duffel bag to DTG subcontractor who will make the printing on the front side. Now that will be a semi finished product and that semi finished product will be forwarded to the another subcontractor for the embroidery. And after all the production will be done, then that product will be received in our warehouse. So here two subcontractors are there and two subcontracting is involved in this process. Now how it is possible with Udo standard? So let's check it. Here first of all I have created the three products and here most important things are that how we are going to configure the routes on that particular product. We have to think on the reverse side. That as a company we are purchasing the embroidery bag means printing bag from the embroidery subcontractor. So here for the printed bag the route will be the buy. Now as an embroidery subcontractor the product will be the our printed bag and that is going to manufacture but of course the bill of material will be subcontracting bag. And for our DTG duffel bag, again it's a manufacturer, but it is the subcontracting type of manufacturer, and we are receiving that plain duffel bag from the vendor ABC. So let's check into our database. So just I have created the three products step by step. This is duffel bags. This is our first of all plain duffel bag. Second one is the printed duffel bag, and another is the DTG duffel bag. This is a semi finished. On front side the DTG printing is there and this is our final product front side DTG and the back side is embroidery. So let's check all the configuration one by one. This is our printed duffel bag that as a company we are purchasing from our embroidery subcontractor. So for the inventory the route will be the buy and in the purchase side the vendor will be the embroidery subcontractor. Now this is step one is clear. Now of course this is this our manufactured product. So let's check the bill of the material. Bill of the material it is of course the subcontracting. So here the subcontractor is the embroidery subcontractor and here the component is semi finished duffel bag means DTG duffel bag. So this thing is clear. Now all done. Now let's move toward the another steps. This is the our DTG duffel bag. Let me go through that. This is our TTG duffel bag and let's check the bill of the material for creating for manufacture the DTG duffel bag. Of course it's a subcontracting and this is for the DTG subcontractor and here component is the plain duffel bag. Now let's check the route for that. Here if we will check the route on the inventory, dropship subcontractor on order must be activated because for the row product we are subcontracting, we are getting from the another vendor. So this step and in the purchase, of course our this vendor is required. So this is the thing. Now let me go through the another product which is our plain duffel bag. So if I will go to the plain duffel bag and we will check the inventory here, of course the dropship subcontract on, on order is must be activated because here this product will be dropship from the vendor A. Now this configuration is mandatory then and then whole scenario will be covered with the Udo bags. Now let's do the taste case. We are purchasing duffel bag. 
so i am going to create the purchase order for our printed duffel bag it requires the 11 quantity we can add the unit price as we require just i am going to confirm it the receipt is created which is that now based on that one rfq will be triggered let's check what is this rfq this rfq is for dtg subcontractor now the product is dtg duffel bag and that will be forwarded to our embroidery subcontractor let me confirm it so here the dropship will be triggered but the based on the confirmation one more rfq will be triggered let's check it that this purchase order is for vendor a we will transfer the plain duffel bag to our DTG subcontractor. So let me confirm this order. So the dropship is created and let me validate it. So it's validated. Now the plain duffel bag is transferred from vendor A to our DTG subcontractor. Let me print it. Let me open that. So here it's a vendor A to DTG subcontractor. Now it's received to a DTG subcontractor. Now let me go through the another purchase order. So I am here. Now again, let me go through the dropsy. Now here it will be dropsy. So it will be validated. So if I will check that print, it will be from DTG subcontractor to embroidery subcontractor. Let me open it. So here we can see that it will be from DTG to embroidery subcontractor. Now it's time for our last one which is my embroidery subcontractor. Now here all done. Now receipt is created and just we are going to validate it. So these are the simple steps that how we can achieve with Udo standard. That this is the multi-step subcontracting because here it involves the more than one subcontracting. Thank you so much.